we found some amazing travel trailer floor plans that are under 5,000 pounds. Stick around, you're going to want to check these out. Hi everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And today we're taking a look at a travel trailers that weigh less than 5,000 pounds. We found some awesome floor plans I think that you're going to love. And stick around till the end of the video because we save the best for last. Hey, if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. We make tons of videos all about RVing and we have our website rvblogger.com where we literally have hundreds of articles that we've written all about RVing as well. And if that's not enough, we have a Facebook group that we would love if you would join. It's called RV Camping for Newbies and it's all about learning how to RV. It's not just for newbies though, it's for anyone interested in RVing. Today though, let's focus in on our travel trailers that weigh less than 5,000 pounds. Let's start our brief reviews right now. So this is a Coleman Lantern travel trailer. It's under 25 feet at 24 feet 11 inches and it weighs under 5,000 pounds because it's at 4,383 pounds. So with a travel trailer this size, it's easy and light and you should be able to tow it with a lot of vehicles. Now when you first walk in the door, you've got the owner's bedroom, which is a queen size bed on the right hand side. You've got storage on both sides of the bed and a little storage shelf above. And then there's two nightstands, one on either side with electrical outlets so you can plug in and charge things up. When you make a left into this travel trailer, you can see that you come right into the kitchen area. Now the kitchen here is pretty cool. It's got a really huge kitchen sink, little bit of counter space around it, three burner stove. Of course, you can put your cover down and extend your countertop space that way. Over top, we have a microwave and then plenty of storage up here. A Little bit of storage down underneath the sink with some drawers and a door. So you know, it's adequate in far, as far as that goes. Right across from the kitchen, we have a nice big refrigerator, uh, very deep inside, especially the freezer. I've never seen a freezer this big, so really good, really good space inside the fridge and the freezer. And right next to the fridge is a nice deep pantry. And it's about, you know, maybe nine inches wide. It goes back about two feet or so. All right, so we switched locations and now I'm standing at the back of the travel trailer and back here you have a nice comfy couch that jackknifes out into a bed. So you could get one, maybe two kids on here depending on what size they are. You also have some overhead storage back here as well. And then right across from here, you have your dinette area which also converts into a bed. I would say one person could sleep on here. If you had really little kids, maybe two kids could sleep here. Above the dinette area, there's a place to mount your TV. So if you're sitting on the couch, you can look across to the TV location. And then there's just a radio and additional storage in here as well. All right, so here I am in the bathroom, standing in the shower stall again. I would say, you know, if you're 6'3 or taller, you're gonna have to crouch even under the skylight in here. So uh, not the most amount of height because I had to step up into this shower almost nine or 10 inches. Um, it also comes with a shower curtain and um, you know, they just work okay. I like to see the accordion style doors a little better. It just keeps the, you know, the shower curtain from blowing in on you. Um, in the vanity area, there's a mirror above the vanity but no medicine cabinet, a sink with some counter space and then some storage area down below that. This travel trailer is the Jayco J Flight SLX 224BH model. It weighs 4,480 pounds and it's 27 feet, one inches long. It's a very nice travel trailer. When you first walk in from the front door, you've got this queen size bed up front and there's a little bit of storage up top over the bed. And then you have a nice wardrobe closet on each side. The other nice thing is that both sides have an end table or a night table, nightstand with USB and electrical receptacles as well. And one really cool feature is under this queen bed, this thing comes up on some shock absorbers, tons and tons of storage under there. So, 
that's a really nice secret feature to have. All right, the kitchen area in here is a nice inline kitchen setup. Uh, you have a very large double bowl sink, a little bit of counter space around it, three burner stove. Down below, you have an oven, extra storage and drawer space down below. And then above, lots of storage up here and your microwave oven. And then right next to that, we have our refrigerator and freezer. And the really nice thing about this fridge and freezer is how deep it is. This is one of the deeper ones that we've ever seen. So very nice fridge in this particular travel trailer. Right across from the kitchen, you have your dinette set up and we put the table down just so you could see what it would look like if you made it and converted it into a bed or you can easily seat four people here at the dinette table. Uh, across and behind the dinette, you've got a very large pantry cabinet here, both above and down below for extra storage. And also you have storage above the dinette. There's also storage underneath the dinette seats too. All right, and then back behind the kitchen, we have double bunks back here, and you could very easily get two people in each one of these bunks. There's plenty of room, and here's your bunk capacities. I think I might be able to fit in one of these. Behind me here is the bathroom, and you're definitely gonna wanna see this. This is one of the bigger bathrooms that we've seen. All right, so here I am in the bathroom in this travel trailer, which is extremely huge. This is a great big bathroom. Uh, the shower itself is about three and a half feet wide, but the real, the real nice thing about it is, is that it's about three feet deep. So there is tons and tons of room in here. It's one of the bigger showers that we've seen, and uh, Jayco seems to be putting in those into their trailers this year. We really, really like that a lot. The rest of the bathroom is very large and spacious as well, and I like the fact that they use the corner for the vanity. It just seems to save space. Lots of storage room underneath. And then it's got a little mirror above. Kind of wish there was a medicine cabinet here, but you could always add one later very, very easily. And then you can put plenty of room for towel bars and all that good stuff. So fantastic bathroom setup. All right, this travel trailer is the Grand Design Imagine XLS 17 MKE model. And it weighs in at 4,674 pounds. It's 21 feet. 11 inches long and one really cool feature about this particular travel trailer is the fact that it has a Murphy bed and we really like the Murphy bed setup because they're so multifunctional. This Murphy bed is a queen size bed as you can see. It has a big wardrobe closet on each side with drawers underneath for additional storage. There's also open storage overhead and a his and hers reading light as well. Now the Murphy bed also can fold up into a nice couch. And I'll just go ahead and put it right on up. A lot of folks are worried about their sheets and bedspread and all that falling off, but I just put it right up and everything stayed in place just fine. And then the couch rolls right into position and holds everything in place. There's also a latch over here that holds it in place as well. So now we folded up the Murphy bed and everything opens up in here. You have a nice comfy couch to use as your living area. Then, of course, to the side of that, we have a very nice comfy couch here that reclines with a dinette table. And then directly across from that is the kitchen area, but they've really done a great job mounting the TV in just the right spot. You can see this from either the couch location or the Murphy bed location. So they really did a nice job placing it. One more thing that you'll notice in this particular travel trailer is the amount of counter space that you have. So as you can see, we have a very long line of countertop in here. It's almost an inline kitchen type setup, except that it makes a little L at the end for the refrigerator, but there's just tons and tons of storage space in here, in the drawers, under the kitchen sink, between the sink and the range. I mean, they just do a really great job with all that. Up top, I like the black glass in the doors. And when you open up, you have storage, you have an AM, FM radio. Some of your controls are in here as well. This has a big single bowl deep sink with a gooseneck faucet and a sprayer. Very nice job. Three burner stove, range down below. Then they have this big deep drawer for pots and pan storage. Up above, 
you have your microwave and then you have even more storage I mean they just take, make use of everything they can extra drawer space down below and then more countertop space beyond in addition it's got a separate refrigerator and freezer so here I am in the bathroom and as you can see it's about three feet wide almost two feet deep plenty of headroom over my head it's probably about four inches I'm 5'11 so you could be in here about up to 6'3 and be okay has a Nautilus door that pulls shut spring loaded so it goes back I like these doors rather than a shower curtain so the, sh the curtains not blowing in on you when you take a shower and then it's got a very nice medicine cabinet extra storage next to that Nice size vanity and countertop and all kinds of storage down below. All right, this travel trailer is a Heartland Mallard Ultralight model. It's the 210RB and it weighs in at just 4,598 pounds and the length of it is just 22 feet and one half inch. So it's really not that long, but it feels much bigger in here. And as we go through uh, on the review, you'll see why. Now, when you first come in from the exterior door, you walk right into the kitchen and living area. The kitchen area itself is an inline kitchen, lots of countertop space. It's got a nice big sink, three burner range, oven down below, also plenty of drawers and storage space down below as well. And then above, you've got a spot to hang your TV here. You have your microwave oven and then more storage above as well. Now, the refrigerator in this model is also kind of in line. It's just on the other side of the entry door. But one really neat feature with this refrigerator I've never seen before, this is a chalkboard finish, and you can write on your refrigerator with chalk, leave notes, you know, that kind of thing. It's pretty cool. The fridge is a very good size, and, you know, we like the fact that it has a separate freezer from the refrigerator. And then just to the left of the refrigerator, there's pantry storage above and also down below and that's probably about a foot and a half deep so lots of storage there so just across from the kitchen area is the living area as well in this rv and it's it's a smaller uh trailer but it uses the space really well this particular sofa can fold out and become a bed so one or two people can sleep on this and then you have some storage above as well now if you're wondering where your dinette table is you would sit right here. It's got a freestanding table, which currently is located in the storage space, but you would just have a table here. You'd be able to watch TV right across from you. So it's a really nice little setup, makes the most of the space. One of the best features of this travel trailer though, is the fact that it comes with a king size bed. Uh, so lots of folks are looking for king size bed, especially folks that are taller. Um, and just so you get a feel for the height in here, I'm 5'11". You know, there is a good, you know, eight inches over my head. So you could probably be 6'6 and be able to stand up in here just fine. But as you can see, there's storage on both sides of the bed plus over top. So there's plenty of room for you to, to make the most. You can sort of get around the bed on both sides, but not, you know, not completely because these cabinets come out pretty far. Plus there's a lower ledge below that prevents you from from going back much further. There's also a little storage under this bed, so you could hide some extra storage items under there as well. All right, so this is a pretty decent sized bathroom. I'm standing in the shower right now, and you know, you've got about six inches over my head. So if you were six five, you could stand up in here easily uh, and be able to take a shower as long as your head stays in the skylight, but it's pretty big. So I think you'd be fine with that. I like the glass doors in the you know the corner shower setup i think it makes the most of the space and it feels very spacious in here uh, off to the side here we have a, a deep medicine cabinet which gives you plenty of storage lots of countertop space around the vanity and then even more storage underneath and then of course we have the commode and then plenty of storage above the commode as well so all in all a really fantastic layout in this particular travel trailer that has some really nice features to it. This travel trailer is the Winnebago Micro Mini 2108DS and it weighs 4,080 pounds and it is 22 feet 
six inches long. It's a nice light travel trailer that would be easy for you to tow behind most vehicles. But one really cool feature that we really like about this trailer is the Murphy bed setup. And the reason we like that is because it makes this part of the camper multifunctional. You can sit in your couch, hang out, watch TV, or you can turn it into a bed pretty easily. You just fold this down and out, and then this just pulls right on down. It's got this strap on here, which holds all your covers in place. So when you fold it up at the end of the day or in the morning, um, everything stays in place and doesn't go falling all over the place. It's got a wardrobe cabinet on each side. And then it also has a nightstand on each side. It's sort of tucked underneath of the wardrobe cabinets. But it's a pretty cool feature that we really like that helps to make this trailer have more than one function. There's also additional storage underneath of the couch, There's two big drawers under here, and then each end table or nightstand also has storage under it. All right, the kitchen area in here is a nice inline kitchen, and starting at the far end, there's a little countertop extension here if you want to add some extra countertop space. The sink is a nice big, deep single bowl sink, big rectangular sink, so you have plenty of room in there. There's a three burner stove. Um, there is no oven underneath, but it has this big drawer for storage. And then above, you've got your microwave. And then right next to all that, you have your refrigerator with a separate freezer. Right across from the kitchen area, you have your entertainment area here. You can mount a TV here. You've got your radio and a little bit of storage up above. And then down below here, you have like some pantry storage in here. There's a couple of shelves in there um, that you can store you know, canned goods, things like that. The dinette in here easily seats four people. It's in a slide out, so it actually makes it feel a lot roomier in here. And then of course, under each dinette booth seat, there's additional storage there as well. All right, so here I am standing in the bathroom, and of course I'm in the shower. Uh, decent sized bathroom in here. It's got about a three foot shower by two feet. I like the shower door because it has the track that holds the curtain in place. So you're not, you know, the curtain's not blowing in on you. So decent size. Headroom is not very plentiful though. I'm 5'11", and if I stay in the skylight area, I'm fine. The minute I leave, I hit my head. So uh, folks that are 6'2", 6'3", or taller are gonna have a tough time. But right across from here, you have very large linen closets, a nice medicine cabinet, uh, decent countertop space around the vanity and a little bit of storage down below. Let us know which one of these awesome travel trailers was your favorite by leaving us a comment down below. We hope you enjoyed checking out all these travel trailers today. And by the way, speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click one of these boxes down below. And remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger channel when you do and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every week when we put out a brand new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.